Hey cycling fans, another great week in American cycling. We're going to talk about track nationals as we have two junior world champions. We'll pick up all the action from the Pan Am Games, talk about some road racing out at the Tour of Utah and mountain biking at the Breck Epic. That's Dave, I'm Brad, and you're watching This Week in American Cycling. Megan Jastrab and Zoe Perez out of Southern California are world champions. They earned their rainbow jerseys in Frankfurt, Germany. Well, it was first Jastrab winning the Omnium title, and then they backed that up together, taking the Madison there in Germany. Yeah, Jastrab, the first American junior to ever win an Omnium World Championship. Four events in the track Omnium. She took top three on the first three, including crashing in the tempo race, gets up and still finishes on the podium. She rides for the Rally UHC team on the road, but is also working towards a Tokyo 2020 bid. So keep your eye on Megan Jastra. Pan Am Games in Lima, Peru with road, BMX, mountain, and track racing all going on. Let's start with BMX. We had a gold medal for Hannah Roberts, a really strong ride in the women's BMX freestyle. She was awesome. Then Chloe Digert won the individual time trial and the road along with the Pursuit Squad as she rode with Kim Geist, Lily Williams, Christina Birch. Birch and Geist also teamed up for a gold medal in the Madison. Then it was the men's squad in the team pursuit, also winning a gold medal here with a new rider, John Kroom, replacing the injured Colby Lang. We wish Colby the best in his recovery. He joins Gavin Hoover, Adrian Hedgeberry, and Ashton Lambie. And then finally, two more gold medals in the U.S. with both the men's and women's Omnium with Daniel Holloway and Jennifer Valente picking up gold medals as well. Man, tons of U.S. medals this week at the uh, Pan Am Games. The U.S. dominated the medal table. Nine medals and seven of them were gold. We were both out at the Tour of Utah last week. Amazing racing there where American Lawson Craddock spent a day in yellow after going second in the prologue and second on stage one. Then it turned into a real GC battle between Belgian Ben Hermans and Canadian James Piccoli. Well, for the Americans, Travis McCabe crushed the sprint competition for the third year in a row. The King of the Mountain jersey got passed around between Sam Boardman of Wildlife Generation, on to Alex Howes of Education First, and then eventual winner, that being Hayden McCormick out of Australia. Howes EF Education First teammate Joe Dombrowski had success later on in the week as he gets a big stage win on the final day into Park City and moves up to third on GC. American Keegan Swarble was third on the day and he showed some really impressive climbing and descending talent. A bunch of the Americans that raced in Utah are headed over to the Welta in Spain, including Lawson Craddock along with TJ Van Garderen and Logan Owen for the Education First team. Pete Stetton and Kiel Reinen for Trek Segafredo were both in Utah and are headed over to Spain as well, along with Sepp Kuss and Nielsen Paulus, as uh, they get the nod from Jumbo Visma. Finally, on to the Breck Epic, the six-day mountain bike stage race where Keegan Swenson and Katarina Nash were on fire. Yeah, they each took stage wins on the first five days of racing out there in Breck, giving them a nice overall lead into the final day where Russell Finsterwald won the final stage to take second overall, along with Hannah Finchamp as uh, she ends up about four minutes down behind Katarina Nash. So that's it for this week in American Cycling. We are both headed to Colorado this week for the All Women's Colorado Classic. You can watch that on their Tour Tracker app or on CycleStream TV. So for Dave Toll, I'm Brad Soner saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Week.